today I'm going to do flat iron curls and I'm just going to be using just a one inch flat iron, nothing fancy, but just one that gets pretty hot. So important thing to do is to put on um, heat protectant um, on your little girl's hair just to kind of keep it from getting staticky and dried out, especially if it's cold outside. I just put a light coat on, comb it through. And if you're planning on doing sections, and lift your hair up and spray underneath as well. And again, the heat protecting doesn't have to be anything fancy. Um, this actually came with my flat iron. <clears throat> but you can get it anywhere at Walmart or Target, wherever you shop. They have similar things. So her hair is um, got a little bit of body in it, not a lot, and it does help if you do have a little bit more natural curl, um, and if your hair is not really, really long. My other daughter's hair is really long to her waist, so it's this is a little bit harder in her hair, and she doesn't have as much curl as this one, so I'm going to show you on hers, but also you'll see what this is a good length too, even though it's a little bit shorter. So make sure it's all combed through. It also helps put a little bit of product in, like some aerosol hairspray, which I've already put in her hair, just to help um, keep in the curls. So what you want to do is just take a small section, not too wide, depending again on how much curl your daughter has. Take your flat iron um, up and down, put it in, Twist it around one full time and then pull down towards you and just let go. And sometimes you have to kind of fiddle with them and curl them around. And put it in, turn it all the way around. And I just kind of pull down at any angle towards myself. If you're having trouble getting it to curl, sometimes it's because your sections can be too big. That's usually my problem. That's not working right. And you can always do them over if they're not working super. And again, if your daughter has a lot of hair, you're going to want to section off her hair and pin it up and do one section at a time. With her, I'm just going to show you how I go around the base of her head. So we've already curled a layer underneath. These are nice because they will loosen up during the day and you just have nice soft waves. This is one I do on my hair a lot too. If, don't be alarmed if you see steam coming off your flat iron. If you've sprayed product on her hair, then that's just the product that's doing that. So it's not because her hair is burning usually. Turn your head, sweetie. I'm doing these really small. When we do this for school or something else, usually we do a little bit faster. Maybe a little bit bigger sections, just whatever works well on their hair. Turn a little bit. Do that one over. Oops. Sometimes you end up straightening it more. Not at all. Sorry.
sorry we had to take a little break. My other daughter was wondering where we were at. So, when you get closer to her face too, one thing you can do, I'm just not wanting to do it, is start um, curling away from her face. Like the opposite direction. Keep it out of her eyes, unless you're going to do something up there. You just flip it the other way. It's important to remember to turn it all the way around, too, if you're having a hard time getting it to curl. Make sure your flat iron is one full rotation at least. And if you need more curl, you can curl it or turn it more. You can also leave these um, pieces like this that have straighter ends. That works well, and I think it looks better on older girls, too. It gives you more of a loose wave and a little more messy look. Let's see. That's right here. There's so many things you can do with these curls and with the flat iron. If you're having a piece that's troublesome too, you can always try doing it the other way, like those ones I was having. I like to even go back and do ones in between the opposite way as well. Just to give a little bit more dimension. Over here, turn a little bit. It's right by your face. Oops. Just don't get your fingers caught in there. Or ears, right? Right. <laughs> because it does hurt. <laughs> okay. And then if you want, you can just kind of go through and finger comb it out a little bit if you want. I like to leave it because it will tend to fall out a little bit and just spray it. See, turn. That's how you do flat iron curls.